What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic. I'm sitting here in my room, it's dark, I've got basically all of the lights off except for one in front of my monitor glow, it's 3 in the morning, and I'm about to make a video complaining about World of Warcraft. I'm feeling pretty familiar, and to be honest, I'm feeling pretty good about it too. Guys, today Blizzard has announced probably one of the stupidest decisions that they've ever done in the entire history of the game, and that's saying a lot, and by far the dumbest decision that they've made in all of Battle for Azeroth so far. Guys, it is so stupid that it's brought me out of hibernation of making videos to come back and discuss this. The change. Blizzard has announced today, Ian Azacostas has announced today in the Q&A, be tomorrow for you guys actually, but anyway, they have announced that they will be removing the option for guilds to choose to use Master Loot in any capacity whatsoever. Uh, this is basically what they've said, and their reasoning behind it is honestly is honestly probably even stupider than the change itself, and I want to go through all of that. But before I do, I want to go ahead and create some context. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. People that probably haven't seen a lot of my videos are thinking, okay, yeah, you're right. The guy that made the guide on ninja looting is complaining about master looting being taken out of the game. Okay, yeah, we see what's going on here. Guys, let's be honest. Master looting hasn't, ninja looting hasn't been a thing since WAD. You can't really ninja loot anything anymore because you have to have 80% of the group in the same guild to even activate master looter in the first place. I thought that was a stupid change when they did it at the Legion pre-patch uh, pre and a lot of you guys disagreed with me. I still think it's stupid but compared to this I feel like it was the, that was a, a divinely inspired amazing brilliant idea. The idea that they're going to completely get rid of Master Loot for all guilds is completely counterintuitive to the way that guilds function, and also it's purely punishing players for the actions of literally less than 1%. So whenever we're looking at Mythic Raiders, we're already looking at a 1%, and whenever we're looking at Mythic Raiders who compete on a world-class level, we're looking at a 1% of a 1% of probably another 1% on top of that. We're really looking at dozens of people that are changing the entire game for thousands of people. So the reason that they're making this change is basically, well, there's two reasons. One of the reasons is they said, well, since they don't have tier sets anymore, this rationalizes it. This does not rationalize it at all because people used uh, loot distribution methods like Master Loot and DKP and EPGP and all this other stuff for trinkets and just for other items as well. It's not like you only used Loot Council for tier pieces. And this is also coming from somebody that doesn't... I'm not really raiding anymore. Uh, I don't have a lot of skin in the game. But to be honest, if a change like this does go through, I'm probably going to stay that way. So I'll go ahead and I might talk about that a little bit more towards the end of the video. But I'll go ahead and I'll go back to the other reason that Blizzard has for potentially, or at least throwing out the idea. They said they want feedback, by the way. So here we go. Um, the, uh, the suggestion or the reason that they're doing this suggestion or the, the reason that they're thinking about doing this, uh, excuse me, I, I confused myself there, is basically uh, split rating. You know that thing that only dozens of people do? Well, yeah, that's the reason they're changing the entire game for everyone. You know, because uh, the top 50 guilds are the ones that completely determine how everybody else has to progress in Mythic. Because they want to poop socket for an entire week or two weeks and do heroic clears on every single one of their characters. Now, every single other dumbass guild that wants to try and kill Garothi Worldbreaker and make sure that people actually showed up for the 200 attempts that it took them to kill the boss actually get some pieces of gear, now they can't do that anymore. Now, personal loot does give more loot. That's great. I think personal loot's great. Uh, I actually I have a lot of problems with personal loot too. You know, you know, I'm old school player, so like, you know, I'm kind of resistant to change, etc. Vanilla, by the way, you know, classic, by the way, etc. But listen, personal loot's fine. You know what's not? Force personal loot. We already had a foray into this with the uh, Argus Pantheon trinkets, right? And we've got people who have gotten 10 Argus kills and they still don't have the trinket. What a great system, and they're now arbitrarily put at a disadvantage because of the game. It's been that this has been the history of Legion, right? You've had legendaries, you've had the artifact power stuff. It's basically players who do not necessarily take part in contrived and repetitive elements of gameplay, or players who do not get incredibly lucky, are basically fucked for this expansion. 
And this happened to Nighthold with Legendaries and Nighthold with the, uh, what do you call it, uh, with the traits for having 54 traits. It happened with TOS with not being a rogue or a moonkin. Uh, it's happened in basically every single patch, but to be honest, the Antorus Pantheon trinkets are not necessarily that bad. But I do think that this was kind of a, them t a way for them to kind of test the waters to see how exactly is, uh, you know, how exactly your player is going to respond to uh, making things force personally. Now, again, I want to re-emphasize this. I don't have a problem, really, with the current system. I think that the current system is completely fine. I, I, I think it's, it's okay. And, and the idea, and, and here's the other logic that Ian put forward that I think is completely flawed. The idea that the raids should be tuned for people that play the game as their job. They're going to play the game 12 hours a day, 14 hours a day, 16 hours a day on multiple characters to ensure that they're able to clear the raid very, very quickly. That the raids should be tuned and the entire systems in the game should be tuned and tailored towards that minute fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent of player base is the stupidest concept that I've ever possibly heard. And that's saying a lot. Guys, it's literally... The, they're making decisions based off of the 1%. The idea, why is this a bad thing if Method wants to go in there and, and take it really seriously and clear the raid on day one? Yeah, of course you're going to have some idiots on Reddit or on 4chan or on, uh, on the general forums that say, yeah, the raid's really easy because Method did it and I watched Sko and I'm subbed to his channel and that means I'm in Method too. You know, of course you're going to have dumbasses. But that doesn't necessarily mean that those dumbasses should be the ones that are driving content, right? You're always going to have people that are stupid, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you base all of your plans and you do everything based off of the lowest common denominator. It's very obvious that those guilds in there put a lot of effort and a lot of time into what they're doing, and I feel like they should be rewarded for that. Tagling all the content around the top 0.111 or 0.001% is not necessarily healthy for the game. In my opinion, I think rating and the game in general has been most healthy whenever rating was much more easily accessible from a, uh, from a gear and also from a fight standpoint. I feel like one of the reasons why Wrath of the Lich King was so successful is because many of the bosses were relatively simple. A lot of the people dropped off in Cataclysm, and I think a big reason for that was because there was a very big pug culture that was developed in Wrath of the Lich King with GDKP runs and also pug runs in general, where people could actually just meet each other and play together without, ne without necessarily being in a guild. And because the Cataclysm raids were so difficult, it made those pug cultures and those GDKP runs less relevant because you needed so much more coordination in the Cataclysm raids you needed in the Wrath of the Lich King raids. So I feel like we've had a long history of raids, they're very, very difficult, actually being very harmful and toxic to the game. Uh, if you look at something like Tomb of Sargeras, I think that's a perfect example. Uh, we've seen in Tomb of Sargeras, there have been tons of raiding guilds that have quit the game, people that have stopped raiding, and people that have just lost interest in it in general. Maybe they stopped playing the game because raiding was what they really enjoyed. So the idea that making the raids very, very difficult just to prolong progression for those high-end guilds is not helpful for everyone and not only is it not helpful for everyone it's actually harmful for the rest of the player base not off of just the personal loot change but also off of the way that the fights are designed uh, i don't really think that the fights should be designed for method it's silly I think the fight should be designed for a relatively good group of people that want to show up maybe three to four nights a week and work together as a team. I think they should be able to have a reasonable expectation if everybody in the group is good, motivated, and they want to succeed. I think they should have a good expectation to do so. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be a world first guild to kill these bosses, and I think it should stay that way. It was much more that way back in Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, and that was also whenever rating was much more popular. So, obviously, Mythic, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people who are going to use uh, this idea and say, like, well, Mythic is supposed to be hard. Yes, uh, of course, Mythic is supposed to be hard. Duh, duh. But there's always the different level of difficulty. I feel like the difficulty that it has right now is much, much too high, and I don't think it's really harm. Uh, it's helpful for the game. It's not healthy for the game. 
And so going back to the personal change and how this ties into it is that these uh, these guilds and everything that are supposedly driving these changes are not necessarily representative of the wide player base. They're not representative of the rating player base, and they're not even representative of the mythic rating player base. And however, regardless of all of that, they're making changes based off of them. Now, Master Loot, of course, does come with its own concerns, problems, and uh, I think I've made many videos about some of those. Uh, you can have corrupt loot councils. You can have people that don't show up and they take gear after they get something. You can have people that use all their DKP, or I mean, I guess this is in 2006, but their EPGP or whatever the hell people use now. Um, they use all of that stuff and then they leave after they get the item they need. Obviously, every single loot system is going to have problems. And really what I want to emphasize here is that usually whenever you're making a decision, you're not necessarily comparing, you know, a huge laundry list of amazing things that are going to happen against a huge laundry list of terrible things that are going to happen. Because if you're going to do that, the decision is going to be easy every single time. A much more reasonable thing to see and to expect is that you're comparing a list of positives and negatives to another list of positives and negatives. And my assertion is that having Master Loot, the positives that come out of that outweigh the negatives and the other positives of not having that. Obviously, having personal loot only does solve some problems. It removes the idea completely of ninja looting because you're not even able to do that. Uh, it also removes, uh, let's see, what else are the other things that it would kind of remove? Uh, it removes any kind of loot drama. It removes favoritism effectively from guilds, and that's actually not not true either. And also, I find the funniest thing about this is that I already we we, were, we talked about this in my my show All Craft that I do, and we had somebody in chat. His name is Ironic. He's one of the main raiders for Limit, which is I think Limit or Easy is one of either one of them. They're both very very serious. Uh, they both raid at like a U.S. number one or number two level for uh, uh, for, for WoW. Right, so these guys are raiding at the top level, and this dude's already thought a way around this and how to make himself still able to do split runs. So, does it really make sense? Is it really that good of a decision if the people that you're trying to prevent doing this thing, right, split runs, are already figuring out other ways to uh, to get around it? And so, I think a lot of people are probably going to ask the question: Then, what would you do about split runs, Asmongold? What would you what What would be the right solution to deal with split runs? Nothing. If they want to do that, if they want to sit there for 12 hours a day, the week before the raid comes out, the heroic week, and do uh, you know heroic and normal mode clears and feed gear to their mains so they can clear mythic just that little bit faster, fuck them, let them do it. It's not that big of a deal. It's not harmful for anybody else in the game. And if they want to do that, that's the type of content that they enjoy, or actually I, I hope they don't enjoy it, but they still participate in it, uh, let them do it. It's not a big deal. Like, is it really that bad that people clear the raids quickly? I don't think that's bad at all. The idea that the faster a raid is cleared is, uh, I guess, tied to the success or how good a raid is, is absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, you're going to have people that are going to invest all of their time into doing it, and those people are not necessarily a benchmark for how you want to judge the average guild or actually how you want to even judge the raid as a whole. So I think the entire, the, the premise of the decision is flawed, the execution of the decision is flawed, and the logic behind it is completely, it, it, it doesn't even make sense. And also, even if it did make sense, people are just going to find a way around it. If you add in account-wide lockouts, people are just going to use different accounts. If you make it to where you can't trade gear at all in, uh, in personal loot, I feel like that's just going to be bad for everybody. Uh, I, I just feel like, again, Blizzard is punishing everybody for the actions of literally dozens. And um, anyway, guys, I think I've reiterated that a number of times, and I, I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say. But I do want to say, again, some of the positive things to having Master Loot. Obviously, it allows you to focus and gear up somebody who might be undergeared in your rating team. Like, let's say your friend comes back, and he's like, yeah, can I help have some help getting some gear? And uh, you can obviously funnel him gear if he needs it. Uh, with personal loot, that's not necessarily always an option because of the item level restrictions and everything like that. If you remove the item level restrictions and you just say, yeah, everybody can trade any piece of gear, then what you're going to see happen is people are going to be doing 20 split runs and it's going to be one person and they get fed all of the gear in the entire instance. If the idea of removing split runs is so important to Blizzard, I feel like they should change the paradigm of rating. Uh, I don't really think... 
I, I honestly, I think that the whole idea of trying to stop split runs is completely asinine and, and stupid and contrived, and there is literally no reason to do that whatsoever. And this comes from somebody that if my guild ever wanted to do split raids, I would never do it. Uh, I think it's completely stupid to do. It's a, it's like a it's a stupid circle, you know. Like doing it is dumb, and then trying to stop it is dumb, and it's just it it it's bad. So um, anyway, going back to Master Loot and the other uh, other advantages for Master Loot. Um, it also allows people to be more incentivized to attend the raids, right? I mean, if you have somebody that hardly shows up and then they get a really, really good piece of gear that's kind of more or less the work or the, uh, the, the fruits of the labor of the entire group, uh, I feel like that would kind of, uh, it would ferment a little bit of resentment and it would actually not be good for the team as a whole. Uh, on top of that, if one person gets an item that might be like a side grade for them, but it's a big upgrade for somebody else, that person would feel kind of compelled to give it to that other person. And so if they didn't make the decision, then the entire guild would be angry at them. And if they did make the decision, then they might resent the guild. So the idea of removing Master Loot, which is going to remove all of these different social situations and negative social interactions is completely false. I think everybody in this group, in this video that's watching has, I was going to say in this group, um, in, in the video, all of you guys have probably had an item drop for you, and you see some fucker message you, and he says, can I get that? His name is probably Asmongold from Kel'Thuzad. But anyway, um, what I'm saying is, like, ever, do you see that all the time? Is people begging for gear constantly. It's like, do you really want to have that happen with, like, your guildies and your friends? It seems like that would be extremely toxic, much more than having a loot council that maybe you don't get the right pieces of gear. Is it really Blizzard's job to police people's behavior to the extent that they're doing now? I think that they're just they're they're so far over their head at trying to police player behavior that they're throwing the baby out with the bathwater because I think that what they're doing is they're looking at negative social interactions and they're saying if players have a negative social interaction they're less likely to play the game and so they do things to remove negative social interactions and in my analogy of throwing the baby out with the bathwater they remove all social interactions and that way there can't be any negative social interactions because you're not being social in the first place oh boom problem solved mmo by the way it's ridiculous so um i really hope they don't make this change i think it's a terrible idea i heard about it a little bit before somebody told me i heard down the grapevine this was going to happen so i've had a chance to collect my thoughts a little bit and uh share them with you guys um, obviously, Master Loot has its own set of problems, but I feel like people that are in an organized group should be able to make a decision on who they want to uh, get pieces of gear, and they should be able to decide if they want to use Master Loot or not. People are not children that are playing this game, and I think that a lot of people that do raid on Mythic are adults, and I think that they're absolutely ca they absolutely have the capacity to make this decision on their own. Uh, Obviously, there are some guilds that operate with Master Loot in bad faith. You know, they have, like, favoritism. They have, like, oh, I'm going to give it to my girlfriend or my boyfriend or my brother, etc. I think you guys have all had that happen. But does that really, uh, does that really rationalize removing it for everyone? Uh, I, I personally don't think so. I think that the... Uh, if they're so dead set on that, I think that we've already reached a compromise by making master loot available to guilds only which i again don't think is a good idea but compared to this i think it's great so i i really hope that they don't make this decision i think it's probably one of the dumbest decisions that they ever have made and it it won't even solve the problem that's the funniest thing about all of this is that after all of this effort that they put in to try to uh fix this huge issue of split rating and so re guilds don't clear the raids too fast oh wow you know it's a big surprise. Somebody who plays the game all day is going to do really good at it. Whoa. Uh, it's like literally their fucking job, right? Because the guys that aren't sponsored are selling runs for real money. Let's be honest. So, it's not even going to solve it. <laughs> it's the biggest joke I've ever heard. And I hope that, honestly, they're going to go back on it. They were listening for feedback. They want feedback. Here's mine. Terrible idea. Awful idea. Revert it. Just don't do it. Maybe try to... If they have to do something to fix this... Here's here's what I would do. I would force personal loot for the first week on Mythic Raids, right? That's what I would do. Maybe not, but that would be at least one other decision to make. I feel like removing Master Loot, a lot of guilds use Master Loot and they operate in good faith and everything is fine. Why punish them for the actions of people in like top 25, top 50 guilds? I don't know. Uh, it's a very bad decision and uh, I hope Blizzard does not do it. Anyway, guys, I'd be curious to hear your feedback. Please, if you feel the same way that I do, make Blizzard aware of that. Uh, I don't know, tweet them. 
you know, uh, post on the general forums, post on Reddit or something. I, I, I don't know, right? I don't know what they're listening to. They're, they're always talking about how they, they want feedback and, you know, we want feedback. But then whenever we talk about how do we give feedback, it's like go on the forums, you don't read the forums. Tweet us, you don't read the tweets. You know, it, it, it's, I, I don't know, man. It's kind of frustrating. But uh, hopefully they'll be able to revert this and make the right decision. Anyway, let's see. It's been 21 minutes. God, this feels so great. 20 minutes complaining about some dumb shit in WoW. <laughs> We're back, boys. So thanks a lot for watching. And like, comment, and subscribe.